Taiwan's political scene has seen a notable rise in female participation, a development reported by the Ministry of Interior this year. The 2022 local elections marked a significant increase in women's representation, with 39.79 percent of special municipal councillors and 36.02 percent of other municipality councillors being female. This is an approximately 4 percent rise from the 2020 elections and the highest figure in two decades. Leading the way in gender equality, Taiwan ranks seventh globally and first in Asia in the 2021 UN Gender Inequality Index. This ranking places it ahead of regional counterparts like Singapore, South Korea and Japan, which stood at the 8th, 16th and 23rd places respectively. As Tsai Ing-wen's tenure as Taiwan's inaugural female president nears its end, there is a growing dialogue about the enhancement of women's roles in politics. The Democratic Progressive Party and the Taiwan People's Party have both put forward female vice presidential candidates, Xiaobi Kim and Cynthia Wu. Furthermore, for the upcoming 2024 elections, the DPP has selected 18 female candidates for 34 legislative seats. Despite these advancements, Taiwan confronts ongoing challenges, underscored by the Me Too movement's impact on its political landscape. The aftermath of a sexual harassment case involving a former DPP staffer has amplified the demand for stronger protective measures for women. National Sun Yat-sen University's professor Chen Meihua highlights a cultural norm where Taiwanese women are often expected to tolerate harassment, exposing them to entrenched power imbalances. As Taiwan aims for broader gender inclusivity, introducing effective protective measures is vital to motivate and empower more women to lead and instigate change. This is Vivian Xiao for TVBS World Taiwan.